scratches at this point now. Good, because that was sore, wasn't it, half an hour yeah, ago? Yeah. This is a lady for injection therapy and it's going to be for filler. You can see just looking at the side of the foot there's a little bit of diffuse punctate callus but particularly this soreness over the metatarsal heads. So we're really very thin in terms of fibro fatty padding five, four, three. You can just see on the side of the camera really there's just very very little between the skin and the bone there little bit over two, a little bit over one, but particularly this lady's very sore. Christine, particularly here, isn't it? Three and four, we're really yeah. quite skinny. Is it more painful here at this point or a little bit further up? Up there where you are now. So it's actually even sort of sorest there. So the whole of this area needs some filler putting in. So this is going to be our pre-injection video just to kind of demonstrate the clinical application of this. Um, three, four, five, but particularly anterior three and four, and you can see you've got this fairly uncomfortable punctate seed corns, hello mamiliari in old money. Here are a couple of close up photos of the foot looking at the plantar surface. And this is the injectate that we need to make up with sterile saline or sometimes local anaesthetic at least two hours before. Job number one today is to draw up our sculpture. This has been sat with local anaesthetic for um, six days. Ne needs a time to cure. I'm going to draw it with a green needle. Put a little bit of air in. And you can see it's just a little bit goopy. And we'll draw up about two and a half mils. For the amount that we're going to put in, that's a nice amount for this particular foot. For this lady, I gave her a local anaesthetic block first so that the sculpture injection itself was pain free. That's helping. Okay, so let's start. I won't be able to feel anything when you press it. Well, I'm hoping you're not going to be able to feel it because this was sore for you, wasn't it, Christine? This is number fourth metatarsal head. So we're just marking some anatomy now. So this is number four. And then this is number three. Yeah, a bit further down, wasn't it, when you were up north? Well, further up. So really where you were most sore was between three and four. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do with these is do like a little bit of a grid system for marking that out. So, one skin marker, a little bit of skin prep. Now, we've already done a prep on this lady. We've already actually done a skin prep. And if you can see, she's also had a local anaesthetic. We've done a superficial perineal nerve block. And on the inside, we've done a tibial block because we want the injection to be nice and pain-free for this lady because we really like her. She's one of my faves, a bit of a frequent flyer. Here's our sculpture. So we've set up about two and a half mils. It's quite goopy, if you can see, but then that's what we expect from this is a filler. We've just got a tiny little air pocket just to take out, so we'll just get that out. Okay. So, Christine, you shouldn't feel any little scratches at this point now. Good, because that was sore, wasn't it, half an hour yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah, we touched it. So how well the camera will pick this up in 3D, I don't know, but I can really see that just filling. So I'm just putting in, you can only see,
put it in small amounts just to fill that and I'm just sub Q don't want to be in the joints I'm just a little bit sub Q so that's really filled that area there you can see we've got our three little spots there now I'm going to come back she's also a little bit sore that was the main focus where she's been very oh a little bit of clout so that's the local anaesthetic causing us to vasodilate that's why we have our little bit of cotton wool at hand so I'm going to come back and put a little bit just underneath the metatarsal heads because she's a little bit sore there. Can you see that blanching on the camera? So a little bit under three, correction, four. A little bit under three. Really not, not a lot of tissue there at all. And I'm just going to put the last little bit just back under the, there where she's most sore. And that's it. So we don't resheath. We'll get rid of that. Sterile dressing over the top. Oh, claret. That's why we always got our, our bandages. This looks worse than it is. And then, they say you can take the clinic out of the chiropodist, but you can't take the chiropodist out of the clinic. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of padding on just to really offload that area so that's got more of a chance to incorporate. Put a bit more, we've got just a little bit of strike through there. We're going to put a bit more bandage on and Chrissy's going to remain on, light, on duties really for the next day or so. And then we'll see you back in a couple of weeks time and we may well repeat, put a little bit more in. Um, better with these fillers to put little and often rather than trying to put too much in and it will squish out to the side. And that's us done.